Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Geeks Go Gaming with me, Dan. And me, Reg. Yay. Today we're going to be playing a, a battle of the skills of classic retro Dreamcast gaming. I could have put that a lot better. You could have put that so much better. Yeah. But yeah, amazing Dreamcast. Uh, my first ever console was a Dreamcast. I love it so much. Um, yeah, we've got... Unfortunately, playing on an Xbox. That's the only downside. But this is the uh, Dreamcast collection with uh, three and a half classic games. Sega Bass Fishing, Space Channel 5, Crazy Taxi, and to a lesser extent, Sonic Adventure. We don't have to talk about Sonic no, Adventure. No, we'll, we'll skip over that. Um, we're going to go best of three. Uh, geeks against Geek. And... Uh, see who, who uh, comes out on top uh, the exciting bit is whoever loses is going to be doing a forfeit on uh, our next podcast <laughs> which I'm dreading to be fair because uh, it's been quite a long time since I've uh, played these games especially Sega Bass Fishing <laughs> totally. uh, I played once with the fishing rod <laughs> yeah exactly we've not even got the fishing rod no. anyway let's get crazy taxi loaded up yeah we're, we're playing on the, uh, the wireless controller and that's not quite as good no Very however nice. I can't remember the last well I think everyone who actually ever owned a Dreamcast bought Crazy Taxi when the um, when Dreamcast first came out. Yeah. Because I remember I got my Dreamcast with three titles. I got Sega Rally, I got Ready to Rumble Boxing. Yes. And I got Crazy Taxi. <laughs> I got Crazy Taxi, Sega Bass Fishing with the rod, and Ready to Rumble. Oh, uh, right. I, I, get, the I, third one. I get it. So you've had, uh, you've had Son- some experience, have Adventure. you? I've played it, but right. that was many moons ago. Let's see how muscle memory helps us out. Right, okay, so what we're doing on this one, Crazy Taxi, we're yep. doing work for three minutes, one go a pop. Yep. Um see who comes out on top. That yep. rhymes, un- unintentionally, but I like it. I'm so, going to go classic BD Joe. It's got to be. Nice. See, now, I suppose I've had a little bit of cheating experience seeing as BD Joe was in um, Sega All Star Racing. Oh, there you go. I don't suppose the racing was quite as crazy as what it used to be on this. Um, but I see you've remembered the whole yes. uh, the whole nitro little it's boost. It's just like it, it's just like Mario Kart. You never forget when that boost comes in. Uh, you say that just wait until I attempt it. Dump it into reverse. Stick it into accelerate. Boom! Off you go. Whoa! Okay. Oh, this brings back memory. This is proper muscle memory now. You, you never forget. I don't even think I'll forget. <laughs> you never no forget trash in a city. I no, like of it. Course. Oh, you don't see hairstyles like that anymore. I wish you saw hairstyles like that. It's just beautiful. Ah, there's a car in the way. Get out of my way. Like, would you actually feel safe driving the streets if you knew that there was actually taxi drivers like this out there? Um, I, I think there are taxi drivers like this. Maybe not like that. With that one. <laughs> well, deadly. Yeah. Oh, I got 50 cents because I, uh, I, I dodged the car. Does that happen in real life? You go in a taxi and there's near fatal misses. Do you, do you give him extra money? I think maybe Speak. if it's like a Friday night out and you're in town, had a few. Friday, Friday, going out on Friday. However, I do remember one of the, the ultimate things I loved about this game so much was the soundtrack when it originally came out. Yeah, Offspring, uh, Bad Religion. Yeah, there's yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. so many amazing tunes back then. I think I actually prefer, I mean, um, to this bit of the game, the actual video games. Yeah, the mini games on this were brilliant. Do you remember like the uh, the, the giant golf ball? You had to do a boost <laughs> over it. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be picking someone up. I got so carried away with oh, talking and reminiscing. Oh no! <laughs> it's like, oh, I remember. I see my little ploy work then, sir. Stop talking to me. <laughs> right, the next more than a half minutes will be silence. This will be exciting for the audience, huh? Oh, fine. The audience will think the audience. <laughs> Classic. If I remember right, just up here. We'll find the church. Again, I think we were talking about this the other week. Um, was no, it Crazy Taxi 1 or Crazy Taxi 2 that had the official licenses? Because like, I remember instead of being like a, the KCS, <laughs> then it was like KFC or it was Crunchy Pizza Hut. Chicken Hop. style. Um, pizza place. Yeah, so instead of the Pizza Palace, it was it was Pizza Hut. There's the church, I knew it. Where's See, the steeple? That. Where's the steeple? Right in the middle. You're a steeple. Stop! If you're gonna wait for a taxi, why would you wait in the middle of the field? The thing is, like, obviously, religious know. figures, the likes of priests and vicars, like, how much do they get paid? 
enough to get a taxi from one end of town to the other. Because he didn't really travel that far, and if you don't earn that much, then why would you really, you know, That's use true. use your money instead of that? Why didn't you put it in a little like prayer box or whatever they have? Yeah, the prayer box. The, the pra- I, I don't know what it's called. Where they keep the money. <laughs> Is it like, the communion? Communion? Something? I don't know. You know I the d- one when you tip. You know, yeah. The priests. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, what else you can call it. I'm never going to make this. Seven seconds. Oh, I've got such good fare coming up as well. Look at that, $266. Mate, if you can make that in three seconds, that's amazing. I'll make you in three seconds. And time, time off, $266. No, no. no. Oh, that was 1, his 000, seven, wasn't it? Sorry. Right, 1,923 and 15. D. <laughs> Easy. Game over. What was it? 1,923. Yeah. Right. Let's just turn. Let's see if he remembers the old uh, boost. I can guarantee I remember it. Just don't know if I'll be able to pull it off. And I think for this one, it's got to be Gus. Yeah, a bit of Gus. I like Gus. It's just beautiful. Although, it's a bit, bit of a fatty. He's going to be weighing his car down a little bit. You know, going to be a bit slower. Nope, that was far too early, so Reg obviously doesn't remember it that well. <laughs> Let's try that again. Nope. <laughs> Excellent. I think you may have a bit of an advantage on this one, sir. I will. Oh, stuck in the green, baby. <laughs> Oi! Yeah, now, I back, back when Mega Drive's the SNES's route, I was playing on PCs. My, my dad always used to, like, every couple of years, we'd get a new PC and had, like, right back the BBC Electron, microcomputer and everything like that. Sorry, Acorn Electron, BBC Microcomputer, all that sort of stuff. I never owned a, owned a game console until I worked at a video game shop and thought, you know what, oh, I need to get Jesus. myself a console and I bought a game console. Oh, what? That, I think that was a very, very worthwhile purchase. Yeah, well, I was going to buy a PS1. It was when the actual, not, not even like the PlayStation one, the PS one, the little mini white one, came out. I was like, yeah, that'd be oh, nice boy. there, sitting next to my TV. I'll, I'll buy that. I've got some good games there. And then uh, one of the guys I work with was like, "No, Daniel, you Scottish. You're a gamer. Gamers will appreciate the Dreamcast." And I went, <laughs> "Okay, I'll buy a Dreamcast." Then I bought a Dreamcast and never looked back. <laughs> it was <laughs> even, even when the PS two came out. I was still. I convinced so many people to buy Dreamcast because, like, look, you're going to spend £350 on a PlayStation 2. I'll do your Dreamcast and got 12 amazing games. And you're the still only downside over. about the Dreamcast, like, it, it's one of my favourites, if not my favourite console, mainly just for Shemu. Yeah. Um, was there was literally, I mean, there was, must have been hundreds and hundreds of titles out there, but it was very rare you picked up an amazing. Ah, oh, finally boosted! It was very <laughs> rare you actually picked up one that you would stick with for it for a long long time yeah. you know, I've got titles on there that I'll play for about all the five minutes um, and then never bother putting back on again well this is weren't. a perfect example there's a lot of arcadey stuff on it yeah which but, is what I love this is but that was the point. What, what Sega should have stuck with originally well the point was it was based on it was the a- AM2 AM2 chip or something AM3, which was yeah. in in their arcade machines so it took them no time to port a, a game across come um, on you slag Wow. Sorry, that was a little bit much. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I apologise for my language while I play this. But the, at least what a lot of people put the the kind of the um, the big problem down down to is that EA didn't support it. There's no FIFA, no Madden, nothing like that. And while you might think, oh, you know, it's not going to make that much difference. Have you ever played Bum and Sega Worldwide Soccer? <laughs> Very true. Although NFL Blitz on this is that one of my great. favourite titles. That was amazing. That was an awesome game. It's, oh, it's, right, it's exactly L- like it's, get out the way. It's like the the uh, VHS Betamax and the um, HD DVD Blu-ray thing. It's all <laughs> down to one thing supporting it. In this case, it was EA not supporting it. In the case of DVD. Um, VHS and oh, the you Max. lose! It's just down to porn. Porn decided to support one, so that's why it took off. I got so excited oh, that, I, that I actually won that I, all I came back into then was porn. Was porn. I was like, pardon? Completely <laughs> missed all what you said, but yeah, yes. Dreamcast didn't Boom. have porn, so it, it would have, didn't do very well. The weird thing is, though, with the Dreamcast, though, it had the, it had the potential to have porn because it was the first. Yeah. The first. VD, what was um, it? VDVD or VCD? VCD, wasn't it? Yeah, and also it had a connection to the internet. 
True. Yeah. So you could have easily gone on right. other Choose suppose, rocket, like, planet ring. Exactly. See now, two two titles alone that sound a bit like porn. <laughs> yeah, planet ring. Okay. <laughs> right. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Uh, so next. one. What's next? One nil to Reg, yeah, and I think we should else? now move on to my game of choice, uh, Sega Bass Fishing. Awesome. Okay. So uh, next up on the old geek challenge of the. The skills, the wits, fishing. and uh, all-out fishing Fish finesse. One nil to Reg so far. See, Moving have, on to this, you have muscle memory with uh, with Crazy Taxi. With this, I have plumbing sound effect memory. Sound oh. effect memory. Yeah, fish on. <laughs> mm, it's a medium size. <laughs> That's that so a big weird. one. After having a conversation about porn on the last game, we're now moving on to. Um, some more pornographic sounds. I'm talking about the size of fish. Right. The thing I right, Big I fish, remember fish. actually getting the, the fishing rod um for this. Yeah. But then I remember solely using it for Soul Calibur. Yeah, that was right, you could <laughs> Yeah, I ne- I think I never actually used I think I possibly might have used it once on um on Sega Bass Fishing. I I remember using it on was it Sonic Adventure two? Yeah, Sonic Adventure 2 where you could... Was it 1? Just look at that title screen. Oh, it's amazing. You can even see the pixels. It's so beautiful. And that's just rubbing it in. So, so, so beautiful. Showing how, the, uh, how the, the real works. It just goes to prove that the lack of of interest when porting, this, <laughs> yeah. when porting the titles across those. It's just fair. not changing. Let's put a couple of achievements in it. We right. played the game. Let's go arcade mode. Arcade mode. Um, what was my point? So, uh, Sonic Adventure 1 you played yes. it with or 2 well, I can't remember which one it was but the one with Big the Cat and his game was fishing I'm going to go in the lodge ok yeah. we're going to start lodge yeah yeah. Um, it, it, you'd go to like ice holes and stuff like that and fish and that was his game and that was the other thing you could use the uh, the rod on properly oh, right. Obviously, apart from saying bass fishing 2 <laughs> but you know so like what's the this? Right. a little bit more serene this one come on you, you're wasting time on picking a law oh, five seconds up already come on right if you're going to go fishing why aim at the bloody lodge why don't you turn the boat around because fish hide in the shadows see look fish come on baby fish. go on look it looks dead tasty nom 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 bloody bite it nom, you nom, nom. retarded fish oh, yeah there fish you go on. boom and he's on he's got a hit bonus that's beautiful oh, hurt turn rod left Come on, baby. It's small. Oh, it's a beauty. Average. Oh, it's an, an average, average size. I'm going to go here. Boom. Nice. The water's looking a bit nippy. You know, 66.9 degrees is not not ideal fishing weather. Uh, I've, I've guessed that because there's no bloody there. fish. Nothing there. Whee! Got a lovely bait for you. No. No. Nope. Give up there. Come on. Come on, you only got one fish. Two pound, three ounces. Oh Jesus! I I don't think this is going down well. That's what she said. Right. Um. Right. I don't even see any. Did did that one fish just go away? For, oh, get that oh, one. What, what, what's get that? Come on. Your law is actually bigger than that. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm I'm calling shenanigans on this. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Come on. Come on, fishy. Um, yes. And you're only like a foot away from the boat, so you've pretty much got it. Four seconds. Hit bonus. Come on, I need. That's like one pound. No, I see. That's not bad. Oh, it's a big one. How did you get that? Oh, he brings it back. He claws it back. No. Oh. Oh. Good old five second. I'm gonna go straight there, aren't you? Mm. <laughs> that probably was the worst idea, seen as. <laughs> I think you've cleaned that I th- area. I, th- out I think of the fish. fish have also just seen. Oh no. Oh, look at him. Oh yes, he gets another bite. Oh, wrestling with this one. Actually wrestling. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Yes. I don't know why I'm whistling it like a dog. Oh, that's tiny. That's That's a a really small one. That's a really small one. That's a small one. I thought that was going to be bigger. Eight pound, nine ounces. I was hoping. I did, however, see a couple of fish in here once I've caught one. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes. No, that's not big enough. Look, look, look at it. it, look at it, look at it. Get oh, him. fish. That's a good size. Hey, you're uh, left. Uh-oh, uh-oh, my line's going to break. break. How, how'd you oh. stop it from breaking? Turn right push down. forward. Oh, 
honestly, this really needs the rod. Oh, I no. mean, I'll be honest, it's fairly exciting as it is, but it just with the rod, it's just fantastic. <laughs> is that going to oh, take Oh, that looks like a, that looks like a big one. It's that a is. big one again. Boom! On to the next level. I want a right little. No uh, way. No way. On a mission here. Oh, I've got special law as well. Large area, area clear. Am I uh, teaching how to be a master fisherman? Yeah. I'm okay. also fishing a bit like an American because I'm drinking beer while I fish. <laughs> of course. And uh, not being stereotypical there, I suppose, when, no. I, when I say that most American fishermen fish with a... Uh, Holly unless Hollywood has lied to us. That's exactly what happens. I'm going to use my You've got my a whole other minute. That's Where's unfair. Where's my popper? I don't care. There That's it is. unfair. Boom. Just because you got to the next level means you get an extra minute. I want to catch frog? a frog. Instead, I'll have this fish. <laughs> the, the second level seems so much easier to actually catch a fish. They're a lot bigger. Well, you got to get an extra two pounds. And it does seem like it's a mile away to actually get it in. Come on, you bugger. Oh, and he dances that one into That's his hands. Big, oh, it's an average size. Average size. There's no way you get into 13 pounds. Unless you get, like, the general. Like, the mother of all fish. Is that in this? No, that was in The Simpsons. Oh. I don't think I'm going to get that be. then. Look, there it is, there. Where? Just bloody. Oh, there. It's hard mm, to tell the difference between a... the fish and the reflection. It's not a very good law, that. It's not. I thought it was going to be better because it was a special law. Mm. Oh, oh, look at him. He wants it. Psst, come here. Ooh, look at me. I'm all yeah, fishy like. For it. Yes. <laughs> I'm all fishy like. I'm all fishy like. Oh, no. Don't do this to me, Tension. Don't do this I... to me. No, no, don't, don't break, don't break. Three, two. No, go, 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 no, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. He's got it. No, no, no. Right. Oh, I was right by it. That was the only possibility. Right, let's let that time run out. Okay, okay. so what do you end up on? 13 summit and two. <sighs> unfair. Absolutely unfair. Your best B. £4.15 ounces. Nice. Beat that. I can beat that. Well, to be fair, if you don't beat that, then um, it's going to be a forfeit time for Dan, and we'll literally be playing for a bit of um, bit of honour. Bit of honour. Right, here we go. I thought I got a five pound one in the first one. No, but you're a liar. I'm a massive liar. Yes, yeah. completely. Excellent. Game I might just sit back and uh, bask in my glory. Game over. How rude. Do you know what? That that's what I I never liked. Games. Back then, and it's on the Mega Drive, on the SNES as well. They used the term "game over" far too kind of just freely. Even when you've done really well, you just finish the game. It's like game over. That's only when you lose, surely. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do. I do agree with that, especially on the like the time ones when you don't really have a choice. I'm going to mix it up for our viewers. I'm going to go inlet. Inlet area. I think I might call this shenanigans and cheating then. No, because what happens? It's totally it's different. How? It, it, yeah, it, it is. It increases the level and stuff. You're the one that picked to go on the uh, on the. I won't get any bigger fish. Just won't happen. I know, but I think you should have went on the same levels as me. No. <laughs> you say that now, but then when I lose, you'll be like, Actually, well, that's fine. yeah. <laughs> if, if you I'm, lose, I'm then, okay with that. Then, then it's it's all good. But I just think it's quite funny how there's a fish straight away. You Two, fish three straight fish away. fight and feel one bloody bait. Fish on! I do think they could make the uh, the fish a bit more um, epilepsy based. <laughs> no, the actual the sign fish when it comes up. Fish, it's all dead bright and neon and colourful. It's awesome. Like now, if they'd done it, it would be so toned down, it would be ridiculous. Oh, God. look at the size of him! Oh, Boom! Five pounds! Again, <sighs> sure. claiming shenanigans. Your shenanigan. <laughs> Let's go over here. This looks like it's going to be based on the wipeout course. Oh, look at that! And look at the size of that fish. <laughs> you could have gone on this course. You just decided against it. That's because I thought we were doing. Because I haven't played this game for years. Neither I have thought I. We were going to be doing the whole, um, you know, start the beginning and work way through. No, look at wrong. It's so big that I just. Keep getting the line tension on. No, don't break, don't break. Oh, it's quite tense. God, it's very, very tense. Oh, this is like 
This is massive. Oh, I thought he went away. Oh, is that just wishful thinking? No, you've well got him. He's there. Oh, he's huge! That's got to be at least a six pounder. Come on. That's oh, a two hander. Take it over. Nine pounds! Oh my god. Right, so you've won then. Yeah. Oh, in, yeah. In Game two over. fish. There you go. Oh, I've just cleared the inlet as well. What? <laughs> I wish you could see okay, my eyes right I'm, now. Now I'm at the lodge. I'll do the lodge now and I'll, I'll clear this in a minute. <laughs> Sad off. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do this. Um, I, I enjoyed that reel, I, I, that lore. I think I'll continue with said lore. Wow. Nothing like rubbing it in, eh? <laughs> oh, look, did you see the size of him? Look at him! See? It's huge! You sound really Welsh then. Look at him! Look at him! <laughs> squir squirming away in the water! Gonna pull him in with the fishing rod and everything! Lead him up with some chips! Batter him and he's gonna be well tasty! Excellent. This one again, the line tension is just. <laughs> two hander, it's gotta be a two hander. No, it's a one hander. No, it's a one. Oh no, no, he's getting oh. the second hand out. Oh, two bloody, bloody hander. Okay, are, are we, uh, am I forgiven now? No. Is it just. Because this is area two, so I reckon you had to get him bigger. No. The same way as what it did with me. So. No. So why so were they bigger? In on other the words, first one? it all boils down then. You boiled to down. Space Channel Five. Part which is two. good. That's what I was, we were going for, really. This is all set up, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be interesting there. It's not at all. We're very young. Um, I'm extremely intrigued to know what your sort of forfeit for myself would be. I, I, you know, I don't genuinely don't know yet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up with something. Oh, large area clear. And one fish. On the two, two fish. fish, wasn't it? Two fish. Oh, Fifteen wow. pounds now. Now what's not fair because you get an extra minute in doing? Well, I'm, I've already stage. won like twice over. <laughs> I know. I'm just taking the move on. Before. I mean, yeah, I think it's it's for the best. Okay. I, yeah, I, I win so badly. And I'm a sore loser, so I'm saying stop while you're ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Time for the final battle. Featuring Ooh La La and Reg and Dan. I have to say, I think Ooh La La has to be just possibly one of the, one of the ultimate cosplay costumes. Yeah, just it's amazing. I love the way that anyone ever, when anyone ever cosplays as her, there's always someone that has to do the Space Michael Jackson. Yeah, definitely. Literally right behind us. So I don't know why though. Mm. Because there's so many actual proper characters from the Space Channel 5 universe you could actually go as. Mm. But I just love the fact that people, well, even Sega still, you know, try and bring this one back out every now and again. Ooh La La has been in both the um, Sega True. Tennis and Sega All Star Racing. No, but they also, are trying to bring why, it back. Why Space Channel 5 2 on this collection? Yeah, why not 1? Mm. I don't know, because. I never played number 2. Number 1 I got and, and loved for the hour it took you to complete it yeah but for the, the the 45 quid 50 quid <laughs> when it came out and i bought it for because i got dead excited jaguar well, well, it lasted for all of an hour the, look at the just the emotion on the faces oh, amazing whoa what is that <laughs> now roboding that's it's not a very good play on words that i'm from honest so, with your Dreamcast then, right? what are your top five games on the Dreamcast? Okay. And obviously if you're using... Shenmue 1 and 2, separate. There's one game. Okay, that's fine. Um, Headhunter's up there. Oh, Headhunter was a phenomenal I love game! Headhunter. That was a genius like, We haven't got Metal Gear Solid, but we're going to make the next best thing! <laughs> I, I, I'll be honest, I love any game where the, the lead protagonist has got a beard. And what a beard. It was like a proper Chuck Norris beard. Oh, it's beautiful. Epic. And um, even wore his sunglasses inside. Right, we're going person. with a 100 round battle. See if anyone can make it to the end. And say, so bear in mind that the actual rounds on this is one dance. Yes, so we're not going to be so here for hours. Don't worry, and we're I'll not going to be here die for ages. Because I've got no rhythm at all. Nope, and you'll probably be able to tell from the length of the video how long this is going to last for <laughs> Right. 
concentrate now. You can do all the talking here to keep your blinds turning. Shh! <laughs> up, 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 up. Oh. I would love it if you could actually see Dan's, uh, well, physical form at the moment. He's going along with the actual dance. It's actually quite majestic. Um, while you're grooving away then, um, suppose my top five titles on the Dreamcast. Um, Headhunter was fantastic. Played that so much. Enjoyed every second of it. Um, obviously my favourite game series ever of all time is Shenmue, so Shenmue 1 and 2. Undoubtedly in there. Skies of Arcadia. Yes, absolutely. Phenomenal RPG. Oh, you, you're talking! I was talking! Oh no, you didn't just lose on round 3, was that? I can't concentrate when you're talking. <laughs> right. What do you do? You can have an extra go. Right, okay. Right, so we're redoing stuff then. Down. 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 You can keep talking, but I'm concentrating now. Right, okay, yeah, so obviously the Skies of Arcadia, like you said before, I got really excited, you just died. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great game. Really, really guilty pleasure of mine, and uh, my mate Dave's, is we played uh, Chessel of Shack. The South Park Chessel of Shack. Far, far too much um, than what we should have done. Great game. Um, Metropolis Street Racer. Which got ported across, well, not ported across, but the sequel came out on the original Xbox as Project Gotham Racing um, as a race game. Phenomenal, really, really great. That was um, cool. Loved that game so much. I remember having the demo disc um, for the Dreamcast with that level on it, with the Vauxhall. And if you complete it under a certain amount of time, you might have won the free game. And at the time, obviously, I was, I was quite young, only were part time, so I had to try my hardest on that demo disc try and win the title, obviously never did, uh, such a great game, and I thought Power Stone, yes. Power Stone goes out there as as one of the time greatest beat em ups, it was superb, um, and Dead or Alive was great on the, and Soul Calibur, in fact beat em ups on the Dreamcast were, were superb, Mob vs Capcom was, was completely up there as well, superb, the only downside about the Dreamcast was the D-pad, it's not it's not the nicest D-pad to play fighting games with, but to be fair, when all you're playing with Shenmue on your Dreamcast, it was all good. Your talking's really off-putting. <laughs> <laughs> but carry on. Right. Okay, so press the A button when you hear what? <laughs> oh. oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> was it the coat that... I don't know. It was the coat that got me. The wolf got me. <laughs> right. Okay, Red's his turn. Obviously not here now. I'm gonna restart now. Right, here we go. I got to 21. 21? That was really bad. Down. He's gone back. Okay, yeah. Shenmue's easily. Skies of Arcadia, absolutely. Um, Headhunter. Soul Calibur, I think. I don't know whether I preferred Soul Calibur or Dead or Alive. Was it Dead or Alive 2? It was Dead or Alive 2, wasn't it, on the Dreamcast? I don't know which I preferred. Although, the absolute... Oh no! I got it wrong way round! Right, that's fine. You get an extra try now. In fact, I'm going to be quiet for this go, but I'm just going to say, actually, better than both of them, with Project Justice Rival Schools too. Amazing. Easy enough. Down, down. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, up, choo, 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 left, up, choo, choo, choo. Up, down, up, down, choo, choo, choo. Up, down, up, down, choo, choo, choo. Going a bit out of time there. Oh no! Right. Unbelievable. So two one to Dan. <sighs> I'm a happy man. Reg is much better at, at actually following through with uh with dares. So yeah, pretty much. So if that's not incentive to go and listen to our podcast, what is what is a 
Uh, just in case you want to know, while well, well, Reg is still playing, trying to beat me, but he's going to fail miserably. www.g.e.e.k.com. You'll find lots and lots of awesome news about games, movies, music, comics, anything that you, you find a little bit nice and geeky. You'll enjoy there. Um, and that's where we'll be posting our podcast every week on iTunes, the number 22 technology podcast on iTunes. That's right. What wow. reason is that? <laughs> Reg has just spat his dummy out. Um, so anyway, I'm I leaving. Think, okay. <laughs> What a perfect ending. Well, he, he will allow us to go home now. Anywho, yeah, head to, head to our website, www.g.e.e.k.com. Head there, D-O-T for the Ds, not dots. Silly. Like, word dot. Right, I've been Dan. And I was Reg. It's time to geek out. Bye. And Bye. well done, Dan. Yeah. Well done. So, this time. G